Former Thai Prime Minister and head of the Royal Privy Council, General Prem, passed away yesterday at the age of 98, following a bout of ill health that saw his aides rush him to hospital in the early morning of Sunday. Said to have been in good health until Saturday, Prem had carried great influence in Thailand for much of his life. A three-time Prime Minister who gave up politics in favour of joining the Privy Council of His Majesty the late King, he went on to become the head advisor to Rama 9, and carried on after His Majesty the King's death. Royally sponsored funeral rites begin today. The Thai media is reporting that every single tourist who visits the country, either by airport or land, could be required to pay perhaps one or two hundred baht, which would go into a fund to cover those who cost the country money by having no medical insurance. It's suggested that the fees could be combined to be used to cover treatment in government hospitals, not private hospitals, and could go into effect by the end of the year. The very first unwanted visitor to Thailand to be caught since the introduction of facial recognition systems at airports has been reported to the media. It seems that a Malaysian man using a fake passport was spending the weekend at an immigration detention centre. A search revealed half a million dollars in his baggage, and it's assumed that he was involved in a criminal operation. Meanwhile, at home and in Pattaya, complaints that a rogue radio station has been playing over our own signal in the city centre has been passed on to the NBTC today. And we invite listeners to let us know if that continues. The NBTC takes such matters very seriously, and rogue transmitters can be easily located. Again, please let us know about the signal quality that you receive. In Lam Chabang, the weekend saw some areas evacuated after a container reported to have been delivered with a fake manifest broke into flames, emitting toxic fumes despite being listed as containing children's dolls. Checks revealed that a further two dozen also contained calcium hypochlorate and paraffin wax, and a full investigation is underway. The fires were extinguished by late Saturday night, and an all-clear was issued to locals yesterday. Patia's firework displays were well attended at the weekend, proof of that as many took three hours to get out of the city afterwards in their vehicles. Visitors enjoyed two evenings of displays by global teams representing various countries. Australian singer Denny Hines nearly took an unexpected shower on Saturday as the fabulous 103 concert for kids at the Loft pub was well underway when a short but heavy storm hit the east side. An amazing massive marquee protected attendees but a second badly designed roof over the stage itself developed a huge bulge of collected rainwater. With the stage evacuated and all power cut off to the stage, and onlookers aiming cameras in the hope that we'd all get soaked, riggers pushed the water bubbles away and the concert continued. Denny was of course amazing. Lam Morrison gave a powerful performance, and the Blues Boys brought a reminder of just how good the blues can be. The amount raised, well, we'll know by tomorrow. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 32, dropping down to 27, and a guarantee of rain at some time, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.